handsomely through services. It's got one year left, so what are they going to do? Okay, play for me for a year and I'm going to go on a free. They might as well just have a little shake out. Just put it out there to you, like 08717 up to double three double four. Do you think Messi has earned the right, earned the right to leave on a free, even though he's on reported million pound a week? Um, the other question I want to ask is, there are some I haven't heard any yet. City fans that don't want Messi. Can you understand any fan of any club that wouldn't want Messi at their club? <laughs> is, that a, is that a true question? It's barking, isn't it? <laughs> you said, no, said I'm being serious. No, it's, it's not a serious, question. serious question. No, there are, in fact, hold on, I'm looking at my switchboard now. We're going to speak to one in a minute. No, if anyone calls this, on this line, we're going to speak to one now, yeah? So this is Chris the Man City fan that doesn't want Chris. Messi. Hello, Chris. Hello, you all right? Yeah. Are you okay? Are you all right? I'm sound, mate. Do you know what? I've, I've heard this conversation over the past hour now, and I need to get something off my chest, right? Which a lot of City fans don't remember. Do you remember we got took over by the Shakes, right? And we were putting in bids for Kaka, right? That got rejected. We put a bid in for Abinio, and it got accepted. And that at the time was our marquee signing, yeah. right? He came to City, he thought it was a bit too cold, and he performed sometimes, but really, he was a great player who kind of underperformed. Now, I'm not saying that Messi shouldn't come to City. What I'm saying is that we need to err on the side of caution when we sign big name players just for the name. When he played for Guardiola... Well, Chris, Chris, when you say big ago, name players, he's arguably yeah. the greatest player ever to put on a pair of, a pair of football boots. He's not Robinho. You don't. You can't mention Robinho and Messi in the in the same calendar year. Well, well, well Robinho was in his in his actual height. You could have said that he was one of the greatest Brazilian stars at the time. No, you couldn't. Why that? Because he wasn't. Ronaldo, Ronaldinho, Kaka. They're all. I put all them ahead of him. And then look at other players. And Rivaldo. Look at other players that have been signed for top clubs who've just underperformed. Chris, do you want Messi at your club? Cafu, Roberto Carlos. I'll, I'll have him. Oh, <laughs> will we? Okay. <laughs> Lino, he'll go, he'll take you. Come on in. You'll have Messi, yeah? On the side of caution, he's 33, just got rid of David Silva, who's not much older. He could still have a couple of seasons at City. Oh, my goodness. And we, instead, we're going to... Well, you talk, don't listen. You've just compared David Silva to Messi. I mean, what? you've just compared yeah, David Silva to Messi. Absolutely. What? Absolutely. Ask any City fan. How was your bank holiday? You had a great one, pal. By the sounds of it. Uh, ask any City fan what? Go on, finish it. Ask any City fan about David Silva. Yeah. And he is on the same level as Messi. Okay. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Good night. Talk sport is now finished. Bye bye. Football index is football betting. You can buy and sell the world's top players. Their value may go up and down, but it's not over with the final whistle like a regular bet. You get to stay in the game. Trade up to £500 for seven days, and if you don't lose,